ticket. What's up guys, I'm super excited on this dreary rainy day because we are finally taking Shorty down to the exhaust shop this morning to get this thing sounding proper. Finally gonna be saying goodbye to that Flowmaster muffler, which judging by the comments, a lot of y'all actually like, but it's just personally not my style. By the end of this video, we very well might have the best sounding truck we've ever had on the channel. I'm feeling confident, boys. I've done a lot of research and I think this is gonna be the killer setup for this 5.3. So uh, yeah, we've already had our final cold star on the Flowmaster. And I will admit that does sound pretty daggum good, but the whole raspy muscle car kind of sound is just not necessarily my style. I'm looking for super deep and loud, and hopefully today, that's exactly what we're gonna get. One last look with the exhaust tips coming out underneath the rear bumper. Honestly, it looks pretty aggressive, but those tips are clapped. There's literally a rust hole right there, which is crazy. That's just super cheapo tips. Either way, we're gonna be swapping it out for something a little bit more my style, and we're gonna go ahead and pull the exhaust off all the way up to the Y pipe before we head down there in hopes of saving us a good bit of time and maybe even a couple bucks. here waiting in line he's working on a charger right now this lady just pulled up in this corvette she came walking up he said yes ma'am she said i got this corvette he said sorry about your luck <laughs> oh that's funny uh there's a little hole in the wall that's for sure but uh hoping for the best <laughs> finishing up the exhaust and this freaking sick rig pulled up. I know some of y'all would appreciate it. LSA supercharger. <laughs> Nasty. It's clean. But they, uh, they finishing up shorty over there. I'm ready to hear it. The Impala sounded rowdy. <laughs> Bro, I don't even want to crank my truck up after that. It's gonna sound like a little, little four cylinder. Good gosh, but I am very excited to hear what this thing sounds like. And, uh, all of this cost 175 bucks, their labor and everything. I brought the tip, I brought the muffler. But still, that's freaking, that's fair. That's, we're we gonna be back here. All right, 
Now, secret might be out of the bag. We got the exhaust ran on the driver's side, so Tundra style. Like a uh, new Tundra for a couple reasons. One, because it's different. Two, because uh, you boys got roll down, went manual roll downs, and I can't do that on the passenger side. excited. sounds, especially the shifts.
right, boys. Well, there is the new setup. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And if you enjoy it, hit that like button. I know I'm absolutely loving it. It is wicked. It is honestly really, really loud, but it also can be tame. Anything under like 23, maybe 2,500 um, is pretty chill. But then as soon as you break that 23, 2,500 RPM, it just, it goes crazy, man. It goes freaking crazy. And uh, I love it, man. It has the exact sound that I was wanting. Super deep. Uh, it is kind of kind of choppy. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of the Borla attack on my 5 liter F-150, which sounded glorious as well. But this is definitely louder. Um, this thing freaking screams and i don't even i haven't even really gotten it to like real high in the rpms uh simply because the truck is not tuned properly we we're on the factory tune i don't even know at this point if i've told y'all what muffler i went with so it is a magna flow bullet it's not actually called a bullet anymore there's just a magna flow muffler with a part number i'll have a link to it in the description uh, as well as this tip I think it turned out really cool. And yes, if you hadn't noticed, we went with a driver side only exit exhaust. And thanks to the truck being lowered, you can't see any of it. So it looks nice and clean because you do have to route it obviously across. So as you see right there, I think the exhaust shop did really good. And I haven't crawled under there and inspected everything, but from the money to how quick they got it done to the end result so far, um, I'm very, very pleased. And that's going to be my new muffler shop. So uh, yeah, we got to take a, a denim down there maybe next week and get its exhaust done as well. Uh, 175 bucks for labor. I obviously bought the muffler and the tip, but still that is uh that's definitely a lot cheaper than i've paid as of the past couple years on all the different trucks the shifts man the shifts they remind me a lot of baby squat right when it shifts it kind of it's not like a flare like a something's wrong with it or anything but it does do that crack like right when it shifts oh my gosh it's so freaking glorious i don't know if i put the one clip in there if i didn't i'll throw it in here i was i was going to showcase uh you know tow haul mode where it, it revs up pretty good it sounds wicked during the shifts and it, immediately popo sitting on the side of the road he was out of his truck turned around looked at me <laughs> but it was all good he didn't he, you know he didn't care he's a sheriff um they're usually really good unless you're acting stupid and i was i was on the verge but i wasn't acting too stupid i didn't want to film much at the exhaust shop being my first time there i didn't want to freak him out but from the y pipe we got the uh little little s bend pipe three inch all three inch uh, going to the Magnaflow muffler, then over the axle, across, and boom, right there at the tip. Anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully you did enjoy. Definitely comment down below. Let me know. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell so you get notified. And with all that rambling, I'll see you all in the next one.